and welcome back to Music of Munchies. So for this week, I thought that I would show you my $50 vegan grocery haul and how I go about like meal planning and what I buy. Normally what I do, I'm obsessed with journaling in general. And then about a year ago, I started to dabble with bullet journaling. Mm -hmm. So I always have like, you know, different balls in the air. <laughs> I'm juggling different things. So um, bullet journaling has really helped me to organize everything. I never used to meal plan, but once I started meal planning, it's helped save me a lot of money on my groceries. And um, it's just, it's helped me to stay on top of like recipes I want to test for my food blog as well. So I will admit, I, <laughs> I have a hard time budgeting food. I, when I go to the grocery store, like I, what I normally used to do was just kind of like freeing it like just oh I'm gonna buy this. Oh, this looks good Oh, we need this and just try to buy everything on my list And now I try to make a meal plan and only buy what I'm making for that week So I mean, it's just like common sense, right? But it was like so hard for me to apply because I love food and I love trying new foods and things like that so <laughs> I've had a hard time like staying in a budget in the past because I just love food and I just want to try every single thing and always have everything on hand but like it's really not necessary before I even meal plan I go to my fridge and my cupboard and see what I have on hand and try to come up with recipes from what I already have on hand so in my bullet journal every week I have um, my meal plan as well is what I'm doing so I will show you my meal plan for this week so this might be like a week and a half maybe even two weeks worth of food I think I could probably stretch it two weeks. All right, so my meal plan this week, um, I want to recipe test an orzo and like spring veggies recipe for my blog. Um, I'm also gonna do a pressure cooker tacos recipe for my blog. So those are like my two blog recipes that I wanna recipe test. Um, and then I always like to have snacks on hands and I usually just have like hummus and veggies or fruit. Um, I want to make a lentil curry. I love curry. I have to eat at least once a week or I feel like something's missing. <laughs> um, I want to try to get those greens in. So I'm going to have a salad with like roasted veggies, um, probably like roasted potatoes or something. Um, maybe some tofu because I got a deal on some tofu from the store. So use some tofu. For breakfast, I usually either have a green smoothie or like cereal and soy milk. And then this is probably like an extra thing that I could make out of the things that I bought here. Um, stir fry, veggies, and tofu. Pretty simple. And I might do like a peanut um, sauce with that just to make it more interesting. So like I was saying before, I have a hard time when I go into grocery stores sticking to a list and not buying extra items. So what I found to be really helpful is shopping for food online and then doing like pickup there because then I can see exactly what I'm spending. I can take things out of my cart that maybe I might not need and I can stay within my budget. That's the only way that I've been able to like stay within my budget. When I go in a store, like all bets are off. We have Kroger around here and they have um, a pretty decent system where it's just like five bucks where you can do it online and then just go to the store and pick it up. This really helps me to stay within my budget and not, you know, buy things on a whim like I would if I'm in the store. I will show you guys my groceries once I bring them back to our place. All right, so my groceries are here. I laid them all out on the table, so let's have a little look, shall we? Of course, we got some bananas. I like to use these in smoothies. I love to freeze them. Um, some dried chickpeas, I usually make hummus or they're really good to put in in a lot of meals if you need like just a little bit of extra like bite or protein in a meal. I like to make these in the pressure cooker. I'm making the pressure cooker tacos. Um, so these are the tortillas for that and they're just good to have on hand. The Mexican food is so yummy to make and easy. Um, got some black beans. I just wanted to get the canned black beans just to have them ready and on hand to make. This asparagus was on sale and it's spring. So I make, I'm um, recipe testing like an orzo spring veggie dish. So that's for that. We got some cereal. I freaking love cereal, you guys. Like cereal is such a good meal if you like don't know what to eat, you don't wanna make any food, and you just like wanna eat something comforting. Like that's like my <laughs> comfort food. Um, and then this is kind of a rare thing. We got some juice. Um, we have like a, a soda stream and we like to make sparkling, you know, drinks and then we add like a little bit of juice to it to give it a little bit of like oomph. 
We also sometimes use lemons and stuff in it as well. And um, we got two kinds of breads because my husband is addicted to bread. He can go through a loaf of bread and like this thing, he can go through it in like two days. <laughs> so he's like a peanut butter and jelly addict and a bread and hummus addict. Uh, so we got the beans, we got some mushrooms. I just love to have mushrooms on hand because they're such a good like meat substitute. And these are gonna go in the pressure cooker tacos that I'm making. Uh, we got some apples. I hate that everything's wrapped in plastic, that sucks. But um, we got some apples. I like to snack on apples with some peanut butter. I also like to put them in smoothies to sweeten them up a little bit. Uh, we got some greens for a salad. I'm gonna make a salad with like roasted potatoes and maybe like chickpeas or tofu or something in there. Just a healthy like salad bowl for dinner or lunch one night. Um, and I've been trying to get, lately I've been getting more like frozen vegetables. These are just so convenient for when, when you like don't wanna chop up a bunch of stuff. You just literally wanna like dump things into a pan and have dinner ready. So I like to have them on hand to get, to up my vegetable intake and for the nights when I'm feeling kind of lazy. I love to have these peppers and onion, frozen peppers and onions on hand as well because then you can make like a really quick Mexican bowl or a taco or something. Um, you gotta have those potatoes on hand. So I got two sweet potatoes and then a bag of like organic russet potatoes because I love to either have fries or like roast them and put them on a salad. Here's that orzo. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna recipe test like a spring veggie and orzo dish. Got some um, brown rice, um, either for stir fry uh, or just it's just good to have an, oh, the curry. That's what this is for, the dal curry that I'm gonna make because I already have a bunch of um, red lentils in the cupboard. So I'm gonna make a curry with that and that's also for stir fry and a bunch of other stuff. This is kind of, this will last us a couple weeks. We got some jelly because like I said, Benny is addicted to peanut butter and jelly, so we gotta always make sure he has that on hand. Um, and popcorn. I, a little thing about me, I'm obsessed with popcorn. I have to have it every night. It's like my nighttime, it's like my nightcap. So I have like an air popper and I just pop it in that and then I'll put just like a little bit of olive oil on it with some nutritional yeast and some salt and oh, it's so good. It's such a nice way to end your day. Like my whole family is addicted to popcorn and this is like our comfort food. <laughs> so I was running low on the popcorn. You gotta have the popcorn. So we also got some kale for our morning smoothies. So there you have it. There is our grocery haul for the week. This will probably last us like a week and a half, I would say. There's, um, yeah. So there you go. Take a little overview look of it all. Yeah. I like to try to buy a lot of vegetables and um, like beans and proteins and whatever's on sale, you know. Um, I like to get frozen veggies because they're a little bit cheaper and they're easier to make to throw a dish together. Um, I always like to have potatoes on hand because they're just so filling and satisfying and they can be used in so many different ways. And mushrooms are always great to have on hand or a great meat substitute. Yeah, beans are always good to have on hand. All right, everybody, I hope that you like this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will see you all in the next video. All right, happy munching, y'all.